to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja and today we're going to show you how to make a tomato and onion chutney. This recipe was given to us by Manikana and thank you so much for it and here's what you need. One tablespoon plus one teaspoon of sesame oil, two small onions chopped, 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, salt to taste, red chili powder to taste, half teaspoon mustard seeds, one dry red chili or to taste, one eight teaspoon of asafoetida or heme, so for our onion and tomato chutney, we have one tablespoon of sesame oil heating up in our pan. Mm -hmm. And it's actually already hot, so we can go ahead and add in our onions. Now the sesame oil, if you've ever cooked with it, and if you've ever smelled it, you know, when it's heating up, you know how fantastic the aroma is of it. Um, if you don't have sesame oil, you can use regular oil, but you will be missing, you know, a, a very key flavor to this chutney. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to cook it uh, till the onions have got a little color. So not burnt, but a little brown. Okay, the onions look beautiful. They've got a wonderful caramelization, but not burnt. And we're going to now add in our tomatoes. tomatoes because they have this wonderful color and uh, it's got a lot of uh, intense flavor already in there mm -hmm. and um, it just works out really well for this recipe. Right, but if you do want to use fresh ones, it works very well as well. The tomatoes are done. The raw aroma of the tomatoes are gone, so that's all we need. We're going to now just to add in salt and red chili powder. We added salt at the end because uh, sometimes the quantity of onions, it looks like a lot before and it kind of shrinks down. So it's better to add the salt at the end so you kind of get a better gauge of how much you need. Right. And the red chili powder. And this is to taste. We're going to turn off the stove. And now we're going to, you know, let it cool down a little bit and we're going to grind it. So we have our tomatoes and onions in our blender and we're going to uh, pulse and grind this. We don't want it super smooth, so if it has a little bit of texture, it's all the better. If you need to add a little bit of water, you can. It's entirely up to you. It depends on your blender, actually. But we want to keep it a little on the thicker side, so we're going to stick to no water. So we've transferred our chutney into a bowl, and now we'll work on our seasoning. Mm -hmm. Here we have a little skillet, and we've got the one teaspoon of sesame oil in here, and it's heating up. And while that's heating up, you can actually also uh, taste it for your salt and make sure everything is okay as far as your chili powder and your salt. Mm -hmm. and this uh, actually was wonderful with dosa, idli, rava, rava idli, rava dosa, aray, bread. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, or even with, you know, I guess bread. It'll be nice in a sandwich, right? Okay. And the oil is hot. Here's your mustard seeds. Okay, here's our chili. We're going to break it and put that in there. And finally our heme, or asafoetida. And quickly turn off the stove. And we're going to add this to our chutney. Wow, it smells so good. <laughs> Can't tell you. The right. sesame oil is just amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go ahead and make our idlis and our <laughs> dosas and have that with us. <laughs> so enjoy your onion and tomato chutney and join us again for another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.